Hi guys, welcome back to another podcast. We have a big one today. We have uh, Aya Tanjali who has 5.4 mil on TikTok. It's been blowing up. Is it, is it 5.4 or 4.5? It's 4.5. It's 4.5 <laughs> mil on TikTok, but close to a mil on Instagram. You're like, yeah. like 4K away. You're like hella close. Not 4K, I'm like... 30, 20K. Okay, away? but you're at like 970,000. That's like yeah. so crazy. Kai's, yeah, Kai's numbers are a little off today, but. It's well, before we get started, Kai, like, let's measure your nails, your length. Oh my. These are like. That's crazy. This one was bleeding this morning. It hurt so bad. And so, like, how like, long my do you nail keep fell those off. on? Um, what do you mean? How long do you, like, keep those on? Like, like two weeks or, like, a week? No, until, like, a month. A month. Yeah, until they, like, grow, until they like, grow out too far, right? No, until they fall off. Until oh, they right. fall Guys, off. make sure to subscribe to oh, the notification bell. Yeah. We're going to get right into it. So before you came on, did you know that the, like, there's an article? There's been a couple articles this week written about you that are just like the 14-year-old TikToker blowing up. I am Tanjali. They're all like blowing up. Going First of all, how do they know my last name? That's kind of weird. Really? It's like available online. What? Yeah, it was like an easy thing to find. Like I've never said my last name on the internet. I don't remember last time I said my name. Yeah, no, people are writing articles about you, like, blowing up this week, like, getting, I don't know, do you feel like you've been gain, gaining a lot more followers the last couple weeks? Um, really, I've been so busy in school, like, I really don't check my TikTok and stuff. Like, honestly, I'm really not doing, it, like, social media a lot no more. Like, I probably, like, when I'm home, I probably post, like, two, three TikToks a month now. Really? Yeah, I don't really post a lot. Is it just Instagram? Like, your Instagrams get, like, 220,000 like, likes a picture. It's yeah. like some crazy number. Yeah, yeah. Last time I posted was like the day before my birthday, I think. Yeah. Okay. Which wow. wasn't that when long was that? ago. It was like three days ago? No, that was like Saturday. No, Friday. Friday? Yeah, last Friday. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, this is going to be great because uh, I think the other part of it was we were also surprised to find out that you were 14 too, which is crazy. Fourteen Because <laughs> we had Gavin on who was 13. <laughs> When he came on, and that's the youngest youngest people we've had on our podcast, we've had you know. I think he just turned fourteen too. I just turned fourteen. Okay, so, but yeah. that's yeah. yeah he, he probably just turned fourteen. Yeah. He was thirteen when he was on our podcast. Yeah, okay. it makes us feel like old heads because we were all born. <laughs> we were all born in like 2000, 2000, 2001. I was born two thousand seven. That's Whoa. nuts. <laughs> that's my sister's age. My little sister's age. <laughs> yeah, that's two thousand seven. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking crazy we're old as fuck now yeah brutal all right it's okay so tell me you grew up in texas right yeah and i grew then, up in texas yeah then how did your whole career start like what was the beginning when did you start getting like some attention on on social media like the followers starting coming in so basically it was probably like whenever during school but like it was literally like the week before spring break and whenever spring break happened covid hit and yeah, so yeah. we didn't get to go back to school till like this year so, um, ever since then, I was, like, more on my phone. Like, everybody was on their phone, like, home. There's nothing to do, quarantine and stuff. And so, I was just, like, into TikTok and stuff. And it was, like, at the time when, you know, point of views, the point of POVs? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's when, like, POVs were, like, really popular at the moment. So, I would do those a lot. And I remember one of mine's blew up. And so, then I just kept doing, like, little acting skits on there. What was the POV about? Like, what was it? I think I think it was about, um, I don't know if you heard, but, like, do y'all know this one boy named Gabriel Fernandez? He like died. Yeah. Oh. It was about that. Wait, he died. He died. Gabriel Fernandez. Yeah, who, he died. Who was like the he? guy that used to like? He, he did like a lip thing. Was that the guy? No, 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 not him. No, no. It was just the boy that got abused by his parents and stuff, and it was like a really sad skit. Okay. And, like I made oh. that, and so that blew up, and it got a lot of attention. And then after that, I just kept doing more, but they didn't really get a lot of likes, which I didn't care because I really loved doing acting. And so then I just started posting what everybody else was posting, like dance and like funny videos and like Miss Freaky Ma, you know, yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And so then I just started getting more attention from that. And then plus people didn't know my age at the moment. Like I didn't talk about it. I didn't think it was Everyone a big thinks deal. you're way older, right? Yeah, I didn't really talk about yeah. it. Like it wasn't really a big deal because like a lot of other kids my age were doing the same thing, you know? And so then I said my age and that's when I started getting a lot of hate. And so how, how old did everyone think you were before? Like, just because that was like the a lot of the comments are about that, too, for you. Like sometimes. 16, 17. OK, that's what people thought. But then I said I was like 13. No, I was 12, actually. <laughs> what, what, no, I was 13. I was where'd 13. you say this wow. like on a live or something? Mm, I don't remember. OK, I probably said it in a live. Okay. I probably said it, yeah, I think I said it on a live, maybe, or maybe I said it in a video, I don't remember. No, it was Miss Freaky Mom video, because, like, don't slide in my DMs talking about you Freaky Mom 13, so, yeah. And Oh, and that's how you exposed your age, you said? Yeah, okay. I think so, I think okay. so, yeah. And then I just got a lot of hate from, like, people older than me. They are like, why are you acting like this? Why are you posting this? I'm like, 
what am I doing wrong? <laughs> and I was just like, they're being, probably just you know? Sims before, and then when they found out your age, they would like all that was the thing. A lot That's of people, thing, yeah. I was getting so much attention, and it was crazy. But like, the hate made me a stronger person. So yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Okay, w- was it mostly guys giving you hate, or did you have like girls too? It was mostly guys, and then I remember there was it was like a hate train. Like I remember I would see so many videos on my for you page of people like talking shit about me, saying I was like ugly, and like why would y'all give this little girl a platform? This and that. I was like, I never asked for one. I just blew up, you know. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's what happened. R- really? Yeah. So like because people were talking about you, your FYP was just filled with people talking about you, and during that time it was kind of like shitty or. I'm sorry, not shitty, but like the meaner things about you. Yeah. Damn. I remember, like, it was it was so bad. Like, I was crying a lot. But I mean, I'm happy that happened to me because it just made me a stronger person. Like mentally, I'm so strong. And like, this might sound cocky. Like, you know how people say haters are my motivators, but they really do motivate me. Like, that sounds cocky as fuck, but it's true. It's a true statement. Yeah. It's true. I get that. And also, I mean, like, what you were in sixth grade at the time? No. Seventh grade. Seventh grade. So I mean, you're in seventh grade. Normally, like I'm in seventh, eighth grade now. Yeah, so but yeah. like normally, like seventh graders like have to like deal with like other seventh graders, you know, like just like you know random high or middle school drama, mm-hmm. you know, like whatever that is. But you have to deal with millions of people that are you know, coming at you. So I mean, this is a complete. And you're just acting like way older than you than like most people your age. Mm-hmm. Like it's like no, I will. You, you know what I mean? Like we knew we were not old enough. To, we were, we're not too old to not like remember what it was like when we were in middle school. No one was acting like this. No <laughs> one would be able to handle this. You yeah. know, no, I, we weren't yeah. able to. Because me, bef- when I was in middle school, I would get bullied. So, like, this internet hate, I kind of honestly got used to it. Like, the jokes that they would say, like, low-key, I got it at school, too. Also, it's kind of, yeah. like, it's probably, like, easier because you turn off your phone and it's all, it's all gone. Yeah. Whereas in school, like, you have to, like, go through it. Yeah, but it was, like, really mean because, like, it was grown people hating on me. Like, it wasn't people my age. It was people older than me. I remember there was, a, like, an old-ass woman hating on me and stuff. And I'm like, Probably a Karen. Karen. A little Karen. Baby, you got kids. Worry about them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry yeah. about me. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> parents that yeah. get pissed and go on TikTok and then like just yell at like kids who are just like on yeah, there. Yeah. Quality quality individuals, man. Yeah, yeah, and like literally my whole family follows me. Like I'm like no, my dad. I'm the only person my dad follows, <laughs> and um like they don't have a problem with this. So I'm like if they don't have a problem with this. Neither, neither should you. Yeah, you know? for sure. Yeah. So because we we're talking about this right off camera, but like when Gavin, um, uh, when Gavin came over, he like um. He came with just him and like one of his friends, right? Mm-hmm. But then a lot of the other kids that I see that are around your age that are doing TikTok, they just have their parents with them all the time. It's like a chaperone thing. And a lot of those kids are like, you know, uh, just like not as mature, but you guys are. Like, do you notice that in the other people that are your age that just they're not doing this? You Ubered here, first of all, and we live far from LA. We live like 20 minutes out. Yeah. Um, well, my parents, they really trust me a lot. They put in a lot of trust in me, which I. I'm grateful for that because I do not like it when my parents are with me 24 yeah, 7 because yeah. like whenever I'm around my friends you know I just want to be with my friends you know like those are my friends and I'm happy that they like they understand that you know mm-hmm. they really do put in trust in me so but I do understand why parents do go with their kids because I am young I'm yeah. gonna be honest I'm young but I mean my parents have a curfew for me to come back and you know I follow those rules you know so as long as I follow their rules like I'm good you know yeah so, so so do your parents come out to LA with you? Yeah, they do. Um, sometimes it's my dad or it's my older sister. She comes out with me too. But my mom, she never really does. She likes to stay home. Okay. okay. Yeah. And they come out for you to, for you to do like collabs and stuff? Or like yeah, they come friends? out for me. Yeah. And they usually like to, you know, come out with me and stuff. Yeah, as, they, as long as I'm paying, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like, you're, you're paying? Yeah, I pay for everything. So. Oh, that's kind of a flex. That's a flex. Because you're 14. 14. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, that's crazy. Wait, when did you start really making money? Like, was it through, like, Creator Fund or was it, like, brands and stuff like that? No, I don't make fr- I don't make money off the Creator Fund because I'm not 18. So. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, but I, I usually oh, make fuck. money off, like, yeah. sound promos, Instagram. I'm going to hop onto YouTube soon, so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sound promos on TikTok? Yeah. How lucrative are like sound promos on TikTok? They gotta be crazy. How much do I like charge? Yeah, if you don't mind me asking. Oh, um, it really depends. Like, um, sometimes I do like one thousand, but most of the times it's like two to three k for each post. Wow, and you do a lot of uploads too. Okay. Yeah, I do. I mean, for sound promos, yeah, I need to make that money. You know, I gotta get yeah. that bag. Oh, for sure. 
That's, that's way crazy. more than like a kid. Like, I'm 20 years old. I'm like, what should I buy my dad for his birthday? Like, I'm looking through like just <laughs> websites, and she can like pay her parents shit. That's, <laughs> that's cr- yeah. No, we're no, but like, like my parents, they don't they don't ask me for money at all. Yeah. No, they don't. Yeah. They like I've never given my my parents money. Like, and a lot of people be like, oh, the only reason why her parents are letting her act like this or do these kind of things is because she's paying the bills. No, no, I'm not. Yeah. You know, my parents they never ask me as long, but like whenever I'm coming out on trips. Mm-hmm. They don't like. I don't know. It's kind of weird. They make me pay for it, so I understand though, because I'm the one that, that makes wants to sense. Go, yeah, because I'm the one that wants to go to LA. Yeah. They're just gonna be advising yeah. me. Yeah. So I, of course, have to pay for it. My my parents would never have done that for me, even if I was making content until I was able to like pay for it myself. Like going out all the time. I don't know. Like they just wouldn't drop that drop that for me. Like just to fly out all the time yeah. and support me. Because they're I like, have to make that cause they're like, why would I pay for it whenever you? you you yeah, can, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you're the one that wants to go out there. They're actually making you responsible, too, you know? Yeah. Because if, if your parents are just paying for it so they can come out here, too, it's just, you know, it's, uh, it's not the right way to go. But, yeah, I don't know. Um, so when what do you do when you come out here? Who, where are you staying with? Like, who do you hang out with? Um, I usually hang out with some of my friends here. I go out to their houses and stuff, and we just chill, and we make content together, and I just have a good time with them. So is there, like, like 13-year-old content houses or, like, the, like, individual creators houses that are 13. <laughs> no no not 13 year olds most of my friends uh, out here that live here are like 17 16 yeah you oh, hang okay, out with yeah, a lot of yeah. older people for yeah sure. yeah um i don't really know any like yeah i follow some kids that are around my age but they've never asked me to hang or anything so i'm just like i feel like they don't want to hang out with me so they just, create a lot like different content you know and yeah. they create different content than me actually too like yeah, i create funny and like my my what do i say like my personality yeah, yeah. out more they just do tiktoks you know because like all love to gavin but like we know like the content's different he told us about it right yeah, well yeah well he even knows that he knows that like his content is like cringy but it's because it's for like a you know eight, it's like Kid for like eight year old no but his right? music is good I oh love yeah his, his music. music's good yeah his music, i'm sorry my phone no, no, no you're good. but like the but like the, the vlog stuff he was telling you like it's all scripted you have to act it out it's really like, Oh yeah, I mean that's yeah. sh- that's super fake. Oh, like, I well. didn't know that. He's a good actor. <laughs> he's yeah. good. No, at- I mean, I mean, like when you meet him in person, you literally think he's. I mean, he's very similar to you. He's very, you know, he's, you see, you think he's a lot older, mm-hmm. but then I mean, he's also like the funniest thing to me was like you know like you see him online and you're like oh yeah this kid's older he's probably like you know 16, 17, but he's like f- four foot eight. I don't. He's really short. He's a really small guy. And it's like oh yeah he is. He's still thirteen. You know he's what I mean? four eight. He's pretty small. Nah, I, I, I wouldn't give him 4'8". I'd I know, give him he's like 5'8". Like dude. No. dude, he's pretty... 4'8", it's like, that's close to like... <laughs> that's close to the cutting line to be called something else. I could be complete... I, I could be off, but... I don't know, man. I'm, just, think, I'm thinking below 5 feet. I'm going to give him like 5'2". Five, five so I'm taller than him? Yeah, but you're like taller than I feel like a lot of people. And he's 15. in 8th grade, huh? Yeah, yeah. He's, dude, he's a year younger than you. Dude, he's not above 5 feet. Uh, well, Maybe. I don't know. I'm I don't, don't want to do him dirty. Like the, con- the, the content's a lot more like, hey, we're going to do this love triangle on YouTube. We're going to be like crushing on each other, right? And the paparazzi films them. You didn't know that? Like the, like the what are they called? Like the vibe crew and like the all. Oh, I know the vibe crew. My little sister, she's always, she follows like Piper and then like she literally loves them so much. That, that's yeah, what so I'm like Kai, loves them too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 she has a chill. And she loves like those little dance mom <laughs> girls like Eliana. She yeah, yeah, loves yeah. them. That's what I'm, but it's that, like they create this thing on YouTube where. For younger kids. For younger kids. Yeah. yeah. Pi- that's smart Ooh. because younger kids, they they literally beg their parents to buy their merch, to do all this. And mm-hmm. my little sister, she's been begging my mom to buy like all these like other creators merch and stuff because they attract the yeah, yeah, yeah. audience you know but for me i feel like i attract everything you think like i i feel like i attract older mostly older people like what, what's your fan like who who go, comes up up to you the most at like the airport and says like yo i uh younger kids actually really younger kids. really okay sometimes i do be having older kids like sometimes i'd like walk into mcdonald's and be like oh are you aya and i'm like how do you know that Mm, that's fine. <laughs> I've seen you before somewhere. What you have? <laughs> no, no. I, I was saying, I was saying what they would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of old, a lot of older kids do know me too, but like not like older N- grown no like grown young. ups. Never not grown ups. No, no. grown ups ever come to you. Okay, like high schoolers. Type high schoolers. Stuff. Okay, yeah. that's cool. By the way, did I, I don't know if I told you my sister's name's Aya. Really? Yeah, yeah. A Y A. A Y A. Really? Yeah. Cap. No, he's no. That, that's seriously <laughs> her name, Aya. Aya. Mm-hmm. Is she is she like Arab? No, she's Asian. Really? <laughs> Japanese. Yeah, she's me. She, yeah, she's oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my sister. Because that's, like, that's like an Arabic name. Oh, really? Yeah. No, he just named her Aya. That's yeah. cute. I love it. Yeah. That was oh. funny. <laughs> Your sister looks nothing like you. Yeah, just nothing like <laughs> Completely different. Yeah, that's funny. 
Um, so no YouTube though. Just t- it's just TikTok and then Instagram, and those are the only t- like those are the two biggest things you do. Instagram yeah. and okay. Because like, I usually don't really have time to do anything because I have school. Mm-hmm. But once summer hits. It's I'm different. on my grind. Really? Yeah. You're gonna go crazy. Yeah, I'm going crazy. So, is social media like like a career for you? Like, do you see yourself going through that, or are you gonna like finish school? Like, do you I want to finish school? For, like, school is my main priority because this is the internet. Like, you like, I one day I could be poppy, and the next day it's over. You know, there could probably be another 13 year girl, curly head, look just like me, probably even better, and steal my spot. You know. So like there, you she's, she's like so smart compared to like half, <laughs> half like, of like all of everybody else. Dude, like you got to be ready for this. Like and when I see influencers that like are not going to college, I'm like, hey, like this shit is not for real. Like it's not forever. She like, sounds like my mom this morning. <laughs> my mom this morning. Like, hey, uh, Get back in taking school. classes. Uh, like, Get back uh, in sc- well, I, I don't know. Chris, Chris didn't tell his mom that he was like that. Yeah, he was like I, I never in- told her I. Like uh, we were, we were in it for like six. We were down in LA for like six months, and Chris never told his mom that he like wasn't in school anymore because Chris's mom was in Florida, yeah. and and they were talking, you know, like like you know, every once in a while. But Chris didn't tell his mom for like six months that we were down here doing this. And she was like, I just one day I saw like, all right, mom, I'm I'm in LA right now. And she's like, she's like, yeah, I know. Your sister shows me the videos. Like what? <laughs> she but just, yeah, yeah, she just never thought of it. So, but so it, like, do you see? Like, what would have to happen in social media for it to, like, become a career for you? Like, to, like, where you're like, okay, I don't need school anymore. No, because I feel like I do need school. Because I've seen a lot of people, like, they rise up so high, and then it just ends. Like, yeah. you could get canceled. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's not yeah. forever. Like, no. So, I really want to go to college. At least get, like, some type of college thing. And, um, yeah, I really don't want to do – I don't know what I want to do in life. Like, well, you're still 14. You're chill. You have time. You know. Yeah, you're right. But I have like four more years till I have to do something. So I have to think. I don't know. This you have a you have almost a million followers on TikTok, and you've been like, no, I mean, no, you, I'm no, sorry, no. Instagram, and you've been going like I know, blowing up like, last couple months. I know, but like, I really don't put in a lot of trust on the internet because like this money, it could end. You know, I could probably lose my hype. You know, that happens to a lot of people. A lot of people lose their hype and stuff, and like everything ends. True, but they lose their hype when they're at like thirty k followers. Like once you get to a mil, like if you yeah, think about it, yeah. a million people is a ton of people, and then that there's is a also ton of then there's also you know almost five million on TikTok. You have a lot of fans. Two hundred fifty thousand so, likes per post on Instagram. Yeah, like, like it doesn't just it doesn't just like die. Oh, that's crazy. That's a whole I know, but like town over the years, like over the years, it starts to die slowly. Like. But you've been doing it for eight months, right? Like eight, 12 months. Yeah. So has it died or is it only growing? It's only growing. It's only growing. <laughs> You're right. Right. So once well, I turn 18, I don't know. You can never know. Advice yeah. from someone who isn't from who isn't going to college who did is the money that you make from that, like once you start to get to a point where you can start making like smart financial decisions, like on, you know, investing your money and having your money work for you, opposed to like just, you know, going in balling out on like whatever you want, mm-hmm. then your money just becomes its own job. Right. And then you don't even need that so job well. and that money will always keep working for right. you. Right. And honestly, what I honestly been looking at to do whenever I get older, if social media doesn't work out for me, I've been wanting to do real estate because they make a lot of money. Right. And even the other side of real estate is buying, is like buying houses. And then reselling them. And yeah. you know, Flipping as an influencer, you make a lot of money and you could just flip a house. Or you could just get a house and start renting it out every month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's what. Yeah, there's, there's a lot. This, of is, this is just blowing my mind. Yeah, you know? the fact that, and like, you have, you're saying all this stuff. I that, was a like, dumb fuck when I was 14. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't even <laughs> tell you like half the. I was playing Fortnite or some shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you were doing that yesterday. And you, you could, with what you know about like social media and Instagram is, and uh, and like just social media in general, way more than anybody else knows. Right when you turn 18, you could literally charge a ton of money to teach somebody and work with a company and just do their social media because no, what you right. can do now you have a job already you have a crazy resume yeah. i almost have a million on tick on instagram and i have f- i'm 14 yeah that's crazy i've never seen anyone 14 with a million followers that's just that's you and bad baby those are the two people <laughs> how, old, oh my God. how old is she she was, she was like she 14 was like right i think that's she's 18 over. now now yeah, yeah, yeah so now. her music slaps i love her music her it, music you know, is was, so you good. don't even realize it's bad baby and so you like take a step back and you're like oh wait this is bad baby. Yeah, 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 yeah Gucci so flip flop. <laughs> she has the voice. For it. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, oh, she totally converted. Baby. her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she totally converted her career from being like cra- uh, yeah, a crazy girl on Doctor Phil to actually a successful music career. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause I think yeah. that she, I think that she did some pretty 
pretty crazy numbers on her records and stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. She's been doing well. It's her, not not Will Vicky, but Bad Baby made it through. <laughs> Bad Baby made it through. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You remember yeah. when we met Will Vicky? Yeah. That was interesting. Ever, who's been, like who's, who's been like yeah. the coolest person you like collab with and stuff? Like or like collab? anyone what? that like you're like a fan of that like you like got to collab um, with? Well, I didn't get to collab with this person, but I got to meet him. I know, Diano Sir. Yeah. Sir, I love. I watch his videos like twenty four seven, and then whenever I got to meet him, I was shook. Like I love him. And who's then sir? I, what does he do? Yeah, who's um, sir? he's on TikTok. You want me to search him up right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Lou, how do you know him? I thought he was a rapper. Oh. And then I also got to meet one of my <laughs> friends. Um, her name is Verena. And I would always watch her YouTube videos 24 7. Like, she, like, I've been watching her since I was really, I mean, I'm still young, but whenever I was younger. Let me see if I can find him. Sir. Couldn't find Sir. Sir the Star, I think that's his thing. Hmm. Yeah. This is him. Oh, he looks familiar. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you know what I'm I swear. I've I don't know where I know him from. Him. I think I. I, I love okay. Him. No, I, I swear I've him. seen him like in real life. But is yeah. he like? Do you have like mainstream big celebrities that you really want to meet? Big celebrities that I've met. Or yeah. I've met Blueface. <laughs> That's Blueface. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean Blueface? Um, I was at a studio with one of my managers and with my with my manager and um. My manager knows like a lot of famous celebrities and stuff, and he invited him over. Okay. So yeah. how how was, how was Blueface? Oh, Blueface. He was really chill. He was really nice. I thought he w- I thought he was gonna be mean to me because I was young, and he was really he was really sweet. Like he he wanted to film some videos. I mean, I got some TikToks with him, and yeah, and he gave me a hug. So so, yeah. so did you like listen to Blueface's music before that or? Yeah. Bust down, Tatiana. Bust down, Tatiana. Yeah, I listen to his music. Um, yeah. Because that's like a super cool, like that, like that's pretty. Blue like, face. It, that's yeah. dope. It's just yeah. like unexpected. You're mm-hmm. just like, oh hey, what's up, blue face? He, yeah. Is he tall? Is he tall as fuck? He was tall, really tall, and his chain blows so heavy. <laughs> I was like, how you carry that on your neck? <laughs> My shit would have broke. <laughs> I was like, girl. That's crazy. So yeah. like, so you guys, so how's like your? So you have like a manager then. So how does like that? How's like your management work? Like, did you just? Did you just like get it like as you like start blowing up on social media? Well, one of my friends was in the man- was in his management, and he was like, "Hey, you want to join this? Like, it's a really good management." I was like, "Okay, bet." And I just joined. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, easy <laughs> as that. <laughs> That's great, and you and you're obviously making ton from song promos and stuff. So it's working out. They're bringing yeah. it to you. But I I might do because these like sound promos they're like kind of like side thing. Like they're kind of like a side job. I need to find something that's main that's gonna give me income every month. Which I might get into YouTube and like, tw- not Twitch, it's Discord and stuff like that. Yeah. I might do that. Yeah. It seems fun. You do that. YouTube would be big. I think, What I mean, I don't know. Um, YouTube, Twitch. Yeah. And brand deals and stuff on TikTok. Make mm-hmm. brand deals, yeah. Yeah. That would be epic. All right. To a quick uh, intermission. Yeah. Intermission. Yeah, Let's fine. take a quick break. Guys, we're going to pay the bills. We'll be right back from your ad sponsors. Peace. All right. Uh, we want to give a huge thank you to our, one of our sponsors, which is Bird Dogs. Bird Dogs are a nice pair of athletic shorts that keep your balls cupped because they have built-in underwear. Um, they're honestly the most comfortable pair of shorts I've ever worn. Same. Uh, Ethan and I have had a pretty good personal experience bro, with Bird Dogs. I mean, Bird these Dogs. guys are just geniuses, bro. Like, whoever thought that – so you zip open the little pocket on the side, and you slide your wallet in, and it goes on the side of your leg instead of at the back. So, like, Ooh. when you're sitting right here – you don't feel that like you know, and little, you can do the same thing with your phone, so you don't get testicular cancer. They're literally, pre- they're literally protecting us against testicular cancer. It's and incredible. And we can even talk about it. Ethan and I had a little excursion the other day. Um, we feel that the success of the excursion was solely because of wearing bird dogs. There was a little chemistry that we uh, built up. Oh yeah, and just the confidence that the bird dogs instills in you. It's, it's, it's just amazing. It's great. Yeah, you can wear them like in warm weather. How fast they took them off in bed. Like that's what <laughs> you guys the, that's just made it sound like it's fucked each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is there anything wrong with that? Keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> you wear them in cold weather, warm weather. Uh, you can swim in them. You can pretty much do anything. I mean, you really don't have to take them off. The only thing is, you think hopefully you you'll end up taking them off. <laughs> yes, and that is why, and that is, <laughs> and that is why we wear our bird dogs. So go to birddogs.com and enter promo code the sink, and you guys will receive a free pair of Crocs instantly, and you'll also be entered in a giveaway. So use promo code the sink at birddogs.com. 
Woo! All right, let's keep it going. We want to thank Headspace. Headspace is an amazing sponsor. They are an app helping you to, you know, get to bed, relax your mind, and really be in a great meditated state. They have all these different, like, videos and courses that really help you, you know. For me, it's go to sleep. So right before I go to bed, I plug them in. I choose one of my favorite courses. Uh, and you get to listen to, like, a soothing relaxation that lets you, like, it's, it's meditation, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I used to listen to podcasts. I listen to art podcasts when I go to bed, but now I use Headspace, kind of. But I swip, I sw- I <laughs> It's flip, weird that you listen I to flip, your own voice when you go to bed. I know, yeah. but I, it makes me hard when I go to sleep. But right. um, well, I kind of switch it off between Headspace and art podcasts. Yeah, right. no, on that topic, Chris was telling me about how he has, like, some... Uh, you know, he can't, he gets a little nervous when his girlfriend comes over and he can't, you know, oh, he, can't, true, he yeah. can't get it up. So he started listening to Headspace before she comes over <laughs> and now that shit's hard true. as a rock. So, yeah. it's yeah. epic. well, the thing about Headspace is they have an approach to mindfulness to reduce stress, uh, improve sleep, boost focus, increase your overall sense of well-being. Whenever you feel like that anxiety, like your head's just racing, listening to like these 10 minute clips, 10 minute videos just allow you to soothe your mind. And they have these huge guest hosts that actually like read them off you know they have like celebrity uh like matthew mcconaughey like people on there that are actually reading these uh stories and scripts so guys again you can uh you you deserve to feel happier and headspace is meditation made simple go to headspace.com slash the sink that's headspace.com slash the sink for a free one month trial with access to headspace's full library of meditation for every situation this is the best deal offered right now head to headspace headspace headspace.com slash the sink the sink today Woo! let's go and for every and also for every brand that we work with, we use code the sync. So just like that, use that. Yeah, it's the yeah. same thing. All it's just the sync all the way across. Yeah. And this shit. app actually fucking rocks. Like I, I love it. Yeah. Well, because before you like, used to be like super uptight about like everything, and like you know, like it was like really like affecting it's like a lot a looser. Yeah, now yeah. like because you've been using Headspace for like a month now. Yeah. I, you know, ever since we like got our code. That's so true. And you've become true. so much better to like be honest. So thank you, Headspace. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like listening to it before I sleep, and then it's also like just listening to it whenever I feel just stressed out. You know, when when people when people are just when shit's just not going right, and I just feel like this tenseness. Yeah. Headspace is what allows me to kind of unwind and kind of chill out and understand. Okay, everything's gonna be okay. Let's take it one step at a time. Woo! All right, we're getting back into it. So um, we were just talking about like what what's stopping you from just moving out here? You said a lot of your friends that do like social media have moved out here. You could join them. You come out. How often do you come out? Um, I've came out here, I think, like, five or six times, but I usually try to come out here whenever, um, my school isn't really that busy, you know, so it's probably, like, one or two times every two to three months, Okay. Like, I think, but as soon as, like, summer hits, I'm gonna come out here stay Yeah. for a long time. And then what's stopping you from, like, moving out here? Like, would your parents, like, even think um, about that? My mom has been thinking about that, like, she said that, like, yeah, you can move out here, but are you paying for the house? Like, come on now. And I'm like... I don't know. Like, it's really expensive. It's like, like when you ask your mom, like, hey, can we get McDonald's? She's like, you got McDonald's money? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you got LA moving money? <laughs> you got LA house money? Like, come on now. It's way more expensive than Texas, too. It is. Oh, like, yeah. you can get a mansion in Texas for 500000 but here, a 500000 house is, like, average. It's n- not even it's average. It's smaller than average. We lived, two and a half. We lived in average. a two-bedroom, one-bathroom house. In the middle of Hollywood, that was one point five million dollars. No, for real, like it's so expensive for no reason. Yeah, no reason. That's all. Yeah, it's all just occasions. And the yeah. house is run down. It was literally like, run down. Be up, not even modern. Yeah, come on now. But yeah, I might move out here soon, but I just have to like be financially ready for it because it's really hard when I have to like I have all that like weight on me every single month to pay the rent and I'll have to pay all this other stuff. But I mean, I make money, so I, I'm gonna get through it. So yeah. So do your so do your parents handle like your finances then or are you like No, I handle all of it by myself. Yeah, I'm good for you. Yeah, they 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 never like get into any of that stuff with me. I didn't I didn't have a bank account until I was sixteen. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's just like the thousands, bro. <laughs> well, my bank account it's ran by my mom. Like it's under her name. Yeah, because because I think you have, you have you to be sixteen, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can't open one until I'm like fifteen or sixteen, I think. I mean, that's yeah. a pretty good financial place to be in. A What's, point where like yeah. you need a bank but you can't open one yet because yeah. because what, uh because of your age. What's the craziest purchase you've made? What's the biggest purchase you've made? Me, I really save my money, so I don't really spend a lot to be honest. Like I'm not like these other TikTokers buying like Rolex Rolexes and all that shit. So with your Louis V V bag on? Y- this? Oh, this was a gift. Oh, it was? Okay. I'm not spending three thousand on a bag. <laughs> Y'all got me fucked up. <laughs> no. Um, but the biggest purchase was probably like these shoes that I got. They were like 800 something. Okay. They were Fendi okay. shoes. I just got them recently when I was here too. You treat yourself on the on the yeah. trip. You know? mm-hmm. Um, or maybe what else did I buy? I know I bought something over a thousand dollars. I just can't remember. 
Do your friends back home like think that's crazy? Because yeah. I, when I was like thir- 14, when I was fourteen, I never had more than two hundred bucks in my bank account. I think I sold a piggy like I. I <laughs> you call it a piggy bank. You have to break bank. whenever you want to go buy something. It, like if I'm, I might be wrong, but I, I think I still had a piggy bank. Have you ever, have you ever had a piggy bank before? You like fill them up and you hit them with a hammer when you want to spend yeah, your money. The most I've ever had before I started YouTube, I mean TikTok, or like any of the social media stuff was like five hundred. That's all. Yeah. I've had. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't even my money. My mom gave it to me for my birthday. Damn, that's nuts. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's a, it's a whole different, you know, it's a whole different like thing, like you like learning yeah. how to like be financially like smart and like do all these things. Like, Gavin like, is buying his like mom cars and shit. Yeah. yeah. Gavin bought his mom a car before, like he can even he, drive. Yeah, he yeah. can't even drive. But it's a G wagon too. It's like yeah. No, I was thinking about buying a car too. Well, as soon as I move out here, I'm gonna get a car, and you know, I'm getting a G wagon. It's gonna be a pink G wagon. I already know what I'm buying. <laughs> It's gonna be Rah, a pink pink G-Wagon. G-Wagon. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be hot pink, and like you know where the air blows out. Yeah. It's gonna be Hello Kitty shaped, and the interior is gonna be white, or red, one of those two. Okay. And then I'm gonna make sure that the front part of the car where the like Mercedes sign is, it's gonna be bedazzled. So yeah. West Coast Customs got you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, West I'm Coast gonna Customs. be ready for this. Uh, do, do you have to be feel more financially ready to do that, or can you get it like? Do you feel you could get it like whenever? I feel like I can get it whenever. How much? How much is that? A G wagon. Like, how much do you think it is? A G wagon. It's like three hundred thousand, maybe. Yeah, you, you put, I mean, after all said and done, you're probably spending two fi- two fifty on G wagon. Like you could drop three hundred bands on a on a G wagon right <laughs> no, now. No, no, I'm not dropping through it like down payment. You know, you pay it monthly. Yeah, like mm-hmm. that. That's what I'm doing. But yeah, so be pretty confident you can pay three hundred grand off yeah. pretty quickly. No, I'm not gonna pay it off like that. I don't have that money. I'm not that financially. Like just pay it off monthly. Isn't it like thousand or something a monthly? Yeah, it's gonna be a bit more. Yeah. A little bit more. Yeah, if you're if you're paying, I mean, it, it just depends on how long you want to take to pay it off, right? Because, right. yeah, I mean, definitely a crazier financial place than I, I get. It's I a get, flex. Dude, I, I used to have to struggle to get the burgers at the at the baseball park because sometimes no, I, I was have like that cash. last year. Don't even don't even know. <laughs> last year I was like that too. I was wearing dirty Vans. I didn't have no shoes, no money, nothing. Mm-hmm. Like I was busted. And what do you what do your friends think about it? Like now that you have like money back I in lost a lot of friends to be honest. Really? Yeah. Why? You don't even have to like pick and choose, right? What do you mean? Like you have to like if you're gonna like, you know you know, if you have school like normally you have school and friends, but then if like then you have social media somewhere you're like making money, like doing like this stuff kinda coming up, like then you have you know, social media. Hiding up school. your circle a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do because a lot of people just want to be my friend because of who I am. And I, I usually just like to stick with people that have been my friend before all of this, you know? So I really don't know. And then a lot of times whenever I'm out with my friends, they expect me to pay for everything all really? the time. Like literally, and that what makes that makes me not want to be their friend anymore because yeah. it's like, come on now, I'll pay for your ice cream. Don't do that. I, know, I saw that money. Don't do that. Like they, they think I'm like rich and stuff and I'm like, I'm not rich. Like, yeah, like part of me think like that's fake friends, but then they're that's super young too. Yeah, you know? right. They don't yeah. know what's like, right. Yeah. 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 So like they're kind of dicks, but they're also like. But it's th- like 13. if you're just going to be a dickhead because you're young, like I don't take that excuse because I'm young too and I'm smart. Mm-hmm. You could be just like me, you know, and you're young. So how many? Fr- how many <laughs> yeah. I'm, how many? How many? Why, why were you losing so many friends in the beginning? Um, Because whenever like the hate hit me at the beginning, a lot of my friends weren't there for me at all. Like, they were not there for me. I would probably have, like, two friends actually being there for me and stuff. And so I just cut off some of them. Not cut off, but I kind of, like, just distanced myself from them. Because it's like, if you're going to be here for me because of who I am and not be here for me when I actually, like, need friends to talk to and stuff, I don't need you. So you were getting hate on TikTok, right? And then right Not just on TikTok, like, on everything. Really? I was getting emails of people, like, saying that they hope I got raped. And I was getting emails, like, literally emails. Like, they would go into my business email and email me. And then I remember one time, one of, one of my, uh, I don't know who leaked my number but someone leaked my number i'm pretty sure it was one of my friends and it's like i don't need none of that you know yeah really immature for their age damn that's yeah that's do you think it comes from like jealousy or do you think it's um that they're just not mature enough to like know how to like relate to like relate to what you're going because you're going through something that's so much more meant for like I mean, because, like, most of these apps and stuff have, like, age requirements on them. So, like, where you have to be, like, I think you have to be 16 now Snapchat. You have to be 18 for Twitter. Like, you know, it's stuff like this. Do you think that it's, that, like, you're mature to a point to where you act that age and they just don't know how to handle it? 
What do you mean, like? They're jealous of like, like how far well, like you've come. Like my friends or your friends. Yeah, so like, oh. so like your friends don't know how to help you because they don't know how to handle. No, a it's not because of that. Um, because. Honestly, I think it's because sometimes some of it really depends on what the situation is. Because I've had friends that have been jealous of me. Like they've been like, "Oh my God, you're getting all these shoes. Like you're yeah. you're being a brat. That this and that." And they're like, and they just like make rumors about me. They're like, "Oh my God, her shit is fake or like something." But that's jealousy. That's, that's jealousy. Yeah, yeah. Like I remember one of my friends. Well, he wasn't even. No, I don't even. I'm not even gonna say he's my friend anymore. I don't count him as a friend. But he would say all her shoes are fake. Don't even believe how much she makes. Like don't do that. Like. They were just saying some fake shit about me. And they were like, she's trying to stunt on y'all. She's trying to, like, be, how do I, like, how do I say it? Like, she's trying to be. Like, flex. Like, like, she's trying to flex on us. Like, I'm not trying to flex on nobody. I'm humble, you know? I'm a really nice, humble person, so. Damn. Okay, yeah, no. So, those are haters, not friends. Yeah, Yeah. and then some friends, like, I, I, some of these friends, like, I would tell them, like, my problems and stuff, like, what I was going through. And they'd just be like, oh, that's tough. Sorry. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> You're cut off. <laughs> uh, yeah, peace out. Yeah, I, yeah, no, that that's definitely. Um, but and I mean, then I remember one time I made a video of like some of my like TikTok internet friends. It was like, oh, like you know that one trend where it's like pick your friend, pick, yeah, you know, pick your math class, pick your class, or some shit like that. And I put some of my internet friends, and I remember my friends from my hometown made a group chat about me. And they were just talking shit. They were like, she made new friends, and she forgot about us, and all this and that. I was like, no, because y'all were, like, not there for me. Like, my internet friends were there for me throughout mostly everything. And they defended me, and they would make videos and, like, content. People, like, saying, like, I remember one of my friends, they made a video, and they were like, y'all need to stop hating. I was like, that's so sweet. Like, they're so nice. And like They're seeing you, though, elevate. Like, they're seeing you work with, like, crazy people who've done a ton in the industry. Right. And I'm sure that there's a lot of them that, that still are just jealous about it. And they still are yeah. going to look for moments to hate about it. Because, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, because people want, people want like, what they, you know, don't necessarily have or, like, don't have the ability to have. And then they see, like, someone who, you know, like, right. was their, was their you know, friend, mm-hmm. like, doing. But, I mean, if they're just going to be mean to you, then they aren't yeah. your real friend. And yeah. then there's some people that just want to be my friend. Now. Like, I remember before I got any of this, like clout and stuff i remember people would always be mean to me in school and stuff and they'd be the same people that want to be my friends now and they're like swiping up all my stuff calling me pretty like don't do that it's crazy how people <laughs> it's, it's weird it's crazy how people uh switch up to to, to do a little clout super chasing. quick super quick it, they switch up really fast oh, oh, oh it it happens it it doesn't Insanely. stop it, it really doesn't stop it only gets it only gets worse like literally i mean that stuff happens with like you know with us like people like from back home exactly. like you know like they're literally just Oh, hey, you were a dick to me all of high school. Right. But now, like, you want to come work for, like, what we're doing and shit like that? It's like, hmm, that's pretty crazy. They're like, can you shout me out? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not. No, like, people, like, literally, like, want jobs. Like, yeah. people, like, like, want jobs with, like, with like what, like, we do. And it's like, yeah, so you were not nice to me ever. Yeah, or, like, come visit. And they're like, hey, uh, I remember when you literally told me, to, like, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> right. I remember like, when you tried to fight me. <laughs> Didn't you forget that? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. They, their memory must just be fucked up or something. I don't know. Yeah. But the difference crazy. between, like, your situation and ours, like, they're, like, we, like, we're older. And, like, people have to deal with, like, they're more mature. Whereas, like, you, like, you have to deal with, like, more immature mm. people. Which I feel like when they grow up, since they're doing it now, they'll hopefully phase out of that. So. Yeah. I've seen people not, like, I've seen high schoolers, like, still act like dickheads and, like, re- like dumbass people. Mm. Oh, yeah. It never ends. It never ends. High school never ends. High school might be worse than middle school. It might be. Honestly, yeah. yeah I, middle school was simple times. Yeah. So why, Elementary why do you hang out with so many, like, older people that are in high school? Um, I don't hang around high school. Second. My... Someone's playing music as they're showering. I think it's Mac. Oh, back bar. Oh, we just, we, we just have to let this guy. Guys, we're gonna get faded up after the, after yeah, the podcast. Yeah, this guy's coming to dr- cut our hair. I guess yeah. and his music's super loud. Hey, you. <laughs> yeah, you. You got bush. <laughs> you definitely do if you haven't tried the best products from our sponsor today, Manscaped. After using these life-changing products, you're gonna want to join a ball sack beauty contest. I'm looking out for you too because I also have an exclusive 20% off discount. Use code the sink at manscaped.com. Uh, he sounds like a robot, but Manscaped actually rocks. No, it's yeah. great. And, yeah. and there's there's big shit coming from Manscaped. There is. We can't talk about it yet. No, yeah. Coming soon. 
some Very technology. Soon. You know what they're the best at is like being able to shave your pubes and your nuts with no nicking. You know ever. what? You know what actually helped me. So my light uh, broke in my bathroom. Oh yeah, yeah. My light, oh. my, my light actually broke in my bathroom. Like above your shower? Yes. And so I, I needed to shave, of course, because I had a bush, and of course people were coming over. I needed to get 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 mm-hmm. trimmed down there. So I just <laughs> used my Manscape 3.0 because it has a f-ing light on it. Boom. And oh. Light has a light on it. This isn't just a regular light. Like, they, like, perfected the angle on that. So yeah. it yeah. shines, like, right it up. It shines, yeah. allows you to shave, and there's no nicking on your ball sack at all. It's probably better yeah. than your car's headlights, if I'm being completely honest. Like, yeah. it's like, I mean, you can literally Which see more, more you better visible. Well, here's the, do you guys prefer to, like, soak your balls before so that they're, like, more, like, you know, elongated? Or, like, <laughs> do you like to do it while they're cold? And like I really kind of, like, I, I like jumping into, like, our cold pool and then doing it. Yeah. I like stretching out the but wrinkles. It, I like getting like, them cold and then stretching them. <laughs> Oh, but I'm just saying because like it condenses the hair, so like you know. I don't think hair condenses. No, I think but that like the, the skin, shrink. the skin condenses, which condenses. But basically, the hair. what he's trying to say is Manscape is the best product for you. So use code the sink for fifteen percent off, twenty percent for twenty percent off, off, and free shipping, and free shipping. Use code the sink. Absolutely. Woo. What were we talking about? Uh, no. We were talking about uh, we were talking about how like high school like high school. Um, oh, okay, yeah. I don't hang around high schoolers in my city and stuff because I feel really weird around them. I don't know why. I just yeah. No, because I remember at one point in my city, I was, like, literally the most hated person for no reason. So I usually don't hang around those people. But whenever I come out to L.A., I usually hang out with my friends that follow me and stuff and that I've made friends with. Most of the time, they are high schoolers and older than me. But, I mean, I really don't care yeah, about the yeah. age because we're just friends, you know? It's not, like, anything. What What is, like, a day in, in L.A. for you when you're down here? Um. So I usually, like... My morning, yeah, yeah, just like my routine. What's the highlights <laughs> of your day? Like, what's the big, big stuff that you do? No, yeah, yeah. 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 When do you Kyle brush your teeth? Kyle wants to know your makeup routine. Yeah, yeah. no, um, no, pretty much. Like, just like, like, what do you like, go like? You know, like, what's like a collab day for you, or like, you know, just anything like that? Like, so usually I just like wake up, go eat, whatever, and then I just go see my friends, and we make a little vi- uh, couple videos, and we just talk. You know, we usually just chill. Like, it's really nothing. I usually I like coming here because all my friends are here. Like, all my friends are here. All yeah. my internet friends, and I like them. Your internet friends, you like them a lot more than your in, your real life friends. Like back home, they've become more like the people you want to hang out with. They're in the same field as you, right? So like, yeah, they know what you deal with. Like even when it comes to like the comment stuff, they have to deal with that too. Because they understand more. No, not they understand. Yeah, my internet friends inter- understand my like what I go through more than my hometown friends. You know, I like my hometown friends and stuff, but I just really don't trust them. Like, I, like, it's nothing. Like Rightful, just, rightfully so. It's easier to trust people that are in your, like, line of work. That Right. But, yeah, it's really it's really easy for me to trust and understand people that are in my industry and that know what I'm going through and understand and, like, know how to fix things and stuff. So that's why I like talk Like, I like being, I like them a little more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I do like my hometown friends. It's just they really, I don't really have any. I mean, I, I I completely agree. Like, if I were if I were fourteen, right, going to L.A., hanging out with more mature people, and then I have to come home to Texas to like, what, like thirteen year old like you know people yeah. just doing regular stuff. Yeah. And that are not, nice. And, yeah. and if they're not very nice to you, then like, there's no point in <laughs> exactly. there's no point in hanging around them. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We have a segment called the Sync Helps. Basically, our fans send us their personal questions, their personal issues. We give them ad- them advice. You know, mm-hmm. like, we give them advice, give them what we really think could help them out. If you guys have a problem, make sure to email us at the Sync Podcast One at gmail.com. The Sync Podcast One at gmail.com, and make sure to let us know how old you are, what your situation is, and some detail. This is the first one. Okay, this is from Anushka. Hi to the Sync. I just want to start by saying love your podcast and Kyle and Ethan are my favorites. My name is Anushka and I have a friend that needs your guys' help. We're both about to be 18 this summer and in our junior year of high school. To my friend's problem, she's a crush on this guy that goes to her school. So me and my other friends, being the supportive friends that we are, went up to him and got his number for her. They talked for a while, but it was normal talking and nothing too deep. I also want to add in my opinion, he is really bad at replying to text. With quarantine, they haven't talked for a while and she doesn't know how to start <laughs> back conversation, but also show that she is interested. What do you think she should do? Sincerely, Anushka. Um, the red flag, yeah, first. If he don't text back, leave him. No. He needs to be replying right away? He needs to be replying right away, because if a dude liked you back, he would be showing you the same attention you show them, you know? Yeah, I get what you mean. You, but you, you don't think, like, I mean, sometimes you got to distance yourself a little bit, you know, and just... Yeah, I mean, like, personally, like, with me, it's like, I used, like, if I, so, like, when I had a girlfriend, I was like that, but now it's like, there's, you know... 
you gotta kind of you gotta play you gotta like kind of step back a little bit and then it, then see if they text again. So it's all just like a it's like throwing the bait, throwing the bait. <laughs> Everybody has to bite on the bait. Mm-hmm. But I mean, maybe he could be playing hard to get. You never know. You never know. Yeah. So I so I I think the way to kind of. You just have to kind of spark up a conversation somehow. Yeah. But as soon as, if they're not giving off the same vibe that you're giving off, yeah. that's a no-no. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, the best thing to do is if they have a class together, ask for homework or something. Ask, asking for homework is a really good way, is a really good way to start a conversation. Like, you want to FaceTime while I do my homework? <laughs> See, but, well, that's sketchy because then you have to, like, what if it's, like, what if it's like a whack-ass FaceTime? Right, and then it's gonna, and then they're and not then gonna like you after. Oh. Yeah, and then it's like, yeah. What if it's just like weird, and then like you don't know how to. Right. You don't. But uh, I mean, I feel like whenever I like someone, I'm gonna spark up a lot of conversations, and if the other person isn't like sparking up conversations while I'm talking to them, I just automatically feel like they don't like me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very smart with it. Have suit. you been in a lot of relationships? You're only 14. No, I haven't even had my first kiss. Like. Oh. Yeah. yeah. S- I mean, same when I was, same when I was yeah. 14. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Yeah, def- I think my first kiss was when I was, it was, I think I was 15. Really? When was oh. your first kiss? I think 15. I mean, it doesn't count when you're like four, you know? And you have yeah. Friends, but it's like well, 15, yeah, I guess, four. for real. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't, I don't, like, I haven't had my first tongue kiss. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> so weird to think yeah, about that. That was so long ago. <laughs> oh, my God. I've never heard it referred to as you a make, tongue kiss. You make me feel old. <laughs> I feel so old. I, mean, I feel like everyone has had a little, a little peck, but like yeah. tongue kiss, never done. It's that. just so funny to like. I don't. It's because I definitely used to think like that. It was like no, I just feel super old because like I remember like I, I remember back in the day, you're like when are you gonna actually make out with someone? <laughs> and it's like in that, it, when and is it's gonna so happen? scary, bro. <laughs> it it's is so like, scary to all the younger sync fans out there. Don't you don't need to like rush anything. You're like you know, it's like you just need to. Just like go with the flow, like it, you know, it just kind of like Chris had his first kiss like two weeks ago. Dude, that's <laughs> crazy! How I knew you guys were gonna turn it. And I was gonna turn it on Kai real quick. <laughs> that's that, that's cat. Don't listen to. Him. Don't listen. He to him. was twenty. Don't he was twenty years old. Don't shut up. You're almost <laughs> twenty one. Sh- shut up. But so I mean, shut so up. I mean, pers- that no, pers- that's cap. First of all, acknowledge that that's cap. Acknowledge that's cap. Not, though, dude, that. Dude. I'm not. First, Chris, the first Chris, girl that yeah, Chris that. kissed is now his girlfriend. No, it's not. Is that like, not true? No, that's not it true. Was in this house. Look at the smirk on your face. It was literally in look this at the smirk. On your face. Anyway, <laughs> all right, we're just saying you have a you, yeah, yeah. There's no. Yeah, you, there's you, no I was literally just close waiting to like, as long oh. as you want. Mm-hmm. It's uh, there's absolutely no rush whatsoever. <laughs> that's, that, that's the goal. Yeah. Do, do we have Do we have another one? Yeah, we have another one. This is from uh, hey guys, my name is Maxi. I'm 16 years old and from Austria. Do you know where Austria is? No, Australia. No, Austria. Oh. It's no. Austria, I believe, is right either under or is it above Italy? Isn't it? No, isn't it under Poland? No, it's like under Germany. It, he would know. He clo- plays FIFA. Yeah, it's close to Germany. Hi, right, guys. My name is Maxi. I'm a 16 year old and I'm from Austria. My problem is I have this girl and for months now, it's always been the same. One time I have feelings for her, but she is she had none and it, we moved on. Uh, but sorry. Uh, but last week we kind of hooked up and she ghosted me the following two days and. Then told me I shouldn't catch feelings and that I haven't, I have enough hoes. The problem is I think I got feelings. What should I do now? Oh, and I can't talk with the boys about this because they don't like her and I know they'll roast the shit out of me if they if I if they do. Uh uh-uh. uh. First of all, if they're treating you like an option like that, you need to leave. Like no, treat them as a, treat them how they treat you back. Yeah. Give them the same energy. But like okay, so all so you think I'm just one of your hoes? You know like. You know, a little make out sesh thing. I'm going to treat you just like that, you know? Yeah, you got like to tell me. You got to be honest call. with him. Yeah, booty like, call. I'm a little booty call to you? Mm, okay. Uh, <laughs> it's starting to make sense why girls don't like you very much. Yeah. yeah I and then like they ghosted nice you? Guy. That's even worse. Like, that's how you know you're their host. Treat them as your host, too. Oh. oh, a little reverse Uno for the ladies out there. If you send like a screenshot of like all the guys you're snapping, and then send it to the guy that's like tr- like ghosting you, I feel like that's the best like comeback or insult. No, for real, it really is. Be petty, and my pe- people <laughs> be shy to be petty, but it's like it works. It, it works. works. It like, gets the point across. Do you ever it do gets that? The point across. Are you ever pretty petty to like somebody that's pissing you off? I be petty. <laughs> yeah, I be petty. Like, no. what do you say? Like. If they do something that they know would make me jealous, mm-hmm. I do something that's gonna make them jealous too. Oh. But I do it way worse though. Like I do it like you like take it too far. I take it too far, <laughs> which is sometimes a bad thing, <laughs> because they be mad at me for like the longest time ever. But it's like, hey, you did that. Yeah, so. You did it to yourself. <laughs> but I mean, sometimes it's not good. Like in some like situations, it's not good to have payback back, cause that's just gonna just ruin the whole thing. Yeah. 
Sometimes you just gotta let it go. To some of the sink fans out there, sometimes it's especially if like it's really not worth it to like yeah. get into like a petty argument. Sometimes it's best to just take the high road and maybe no, just but like um like how do I explain it? Like sometimes you want them to feel shitty for what they did. Yes. So very don't true. do anything back to make them feel mad. Yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Like let them feel shitty about what they did and make them like apologize and stuff. But if they don't apologize or none of that, do what they did. Yeah, exactly. You know That's the most toxic shit. Yeah, it might it be works. toxic. It it's might be toxic, toxic, but it works. But it works, Does and it? it get the it gets the point across, and it makes them feel how you feel. But I mean, as if you don't if you don't apologize, and if you don't say sorry, and you don't like do what you're supposed to do after you miss mistake do a mistake, then I'm just gonna do it back to you. Yeah, you know. Uh, do you know? Do you know what Ask FM is? <laughs> FM. Ask FM. Nah. It's like a website. No. Anyway, I just There's listening to, media listening to we you talk school. about this is just hilarious to me because, like, you actually kind of, like you know like what like you're talking about like in like interacting with other people. We were like on Ask FM, and I don't know if some of the older fans might know what it that was like is. Kick two. It was literally like you like ask anonymous questions to people. Oh really? On like their account, and then they like respond to it and post it. It was like Instagram stories, but like. It is oh, like kind of like YOLOs on Snapchat. Yeah, yeah, same yeah. thing. Yeah. But it was like a whole platform meant for it, and I think it was only uh, it was an app. But anyway, that was the way that like we would think that was it, anyway. It was so funny. But yeah. now that's just funny to hear that you actually like I don't know. You actually have better advice than what like probably Chris could give. So yeah. I'd be afraid yeah, to be totally. a TikToker getting like beefing with you. Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah you I seem feel like, scary. Yeah, you seem scary. Like, I seem scary. You, you yeah. would pull up and you actually do something about it. You wouldn't just like back down and talk you seem like shit you're online. Really, you seem like you're really good at like at like getting in, like a yelling fight. Yeah. No, for real, I'm really good at arguing. I like arguing with people. Not even to lie, I like well, arguing because I feel like you yeah. can like flip a switch and you just talk super fast. Yeah, and I feel like it makes no. someone like kind of get scared and intimidated real quick. No, I'm this type of person that if we're arguing, I'm gonna be like, I like how do I argue? I haven't argued in a long time. Really? Like I'd, I'd make them look bad if that makes sense. If I'm arguing in front of a lot of people, I try to make them look bad so I can win the argument. I'm that's kind of bad. Ca- yeah, but at any that's kind of bad, but it's true. Like I'll be like, oh, so you don't trust me no more, but I trust you. Like you know, I'll like kind of make me look victimized. Play the victim. Oh, what? <laughs> that, <laughs> remind, me of, remind me to not get into an argument with you. Yeah. No, but but I'm never in the wrong, so it's usually. Oh yeah, wrong, yeah. So you're never in the wrong. I'm never in the wrong. Yeah. That's, that that's what a professional arguer would say. That's what that's something Ethan Handelman would say. Like uh, no, Ethan Handelman. No, for real though. Like I'm I always, I'm a really good person. Like I never argue with people. I'm always like really chill. Like I never do something that's gonna make someone not like me. You know. Yeah. I never talk shit about people. None of that. So honestly. Yeah. Our friend our friend Ethan, his his way of arguing is he'll literally start arguing with you, then he'll just literally just start like screaming pretty much. He just like gets like super animated and just like but he always like he just like says something that like literally is like, bro, what does that even mean? No, but yeah. if I get yelled at and if I start an argument with someone older than me, like a grown up, then I would like start crying. Oh wow. yeah, I'm still young, so yeah. I start crying whenever someone like if my mom or my dad <laughs> or just like an old woman, I don't even know, starts yelling at me because that's happened to me. Um, I would start crying. Is it like know. a is it like a like a fake cry? Like, ah, I fucking got, got no, you. No, like a I got cry, you. cry. I'm for real. Oh. But I would be crying because I like whenever I get into heated arguments like that, where I start crying, it's usually because I couldn't do anything about it. Like it's usually because I couldn't. No. Yeah, no. I, yeah, I, I, I get what you mean. I, I, I get what you, you know mean. what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So going forward, like, what's the big stuff coming out for you? YouTube? You're gonna hit the gr- YouTube grind? Yes. Yeah. I just need to find an editor. If your editor hit me up. So. Ethan, Ethan can edit. <laughs> yeah, Ethan can edit. Who's Ethan, that? He's, he, he edits for us. Ethan can edit, though. Maybe Ethan can will edit. <laughs> you think he'd edit mine? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you have to talk to him. Yeah. All right, but yeah. I'll hit him up. Yeah, just ask him. Y'all Ethan. give me his app. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he literally is probably standing 15 feet away from... He literally, he lives in this house. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 It'd be sick. But guys, so where can they find you? Instagram, they can find you on TikTok. Where do you... Twitter? Are you on Twitter? Mm, I think I made a Twitter, but I got a new phone and I lost my Twitter account. Kids, so. careful with Twitter. You find some crazy stuff on Twitter. Oh, yeah. You yeah. find some oof. This, Twitter yeah. needs to be 18 plus. It does. No, for real. I've seen some weird shit on there. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing you've seen on Twitter? I don't think I'm supposed to say that. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay, guys. Yeah, don't go on Twitter, Classic kids. Kai. I was yeah. asking something but I've you seen probably girl. should have asked. I've seen it. I've seen it. Um, I've seen it. Uh, how do I say it? <laughs> you, know, you can just say anything and we can just put like a bleep noise in it. Might okay, be kind of funny. so I've seen someone like put a chair 
all the way up their ass that oh, it showed ch- their stomach. It was the chair. Oh. The chair pole was in their ah. stomach, and oh. they died. You watched them die? Okay. No, no, he didn't die. No, he went to the ER. no, he went to the ER and died. But yeah, like he literally stuck that sh- in it. <laughs> it just felt good. I was like, mm. oh. I was like, this not feel good. <laughs> not feel good. Then, and then I've seen someone eat a tampon. Filled <laughs> 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 with blood on it, and it had like this big, big blood clot. I was like, oh. oh, my. oh my God, nah, that, that's probably a prank. They probably put in like some, it's like some. Some juice. I don't know. Suck the <laughs> juice out of it. And then, and then I saw this really sad thing. This really girl, she was cutting herself so much to where you saw her bone. Uh, what do you? Yeah, yeah. Yo, Twitter needs. You need to check. <laughs> yeah, you clean your cookies. Clean all your no, cookies. no, no, no. You but most of the stuff, Twitter. most of the stuff, like people would talk about it on TikTok. They'd be like, oh my god, did y'all see that girl cutting herself? Like, Jesus. and then I go on. I'd be like, I go on like. Um, Twitter, I'd be like, what are they talking about? And then I'd see, I'd be like, oh my goodness, what is this? What is this? And literally, why would people record themselves doing these weird shit? Yeah, well, not cutting th- themselves. Like, that girl that was cutting herself, I think it was her brother recording that, and he was not doing anything about it. He was not saying, oh, stop, no. I was like, oh, damn. Yeah, not good. Not good. Not good. Yeah, That's pretty fucked <laughs> I'd up. I'd rather see the chair thing. Uh, no, the died. chair thing, I got sent to it by one of my friends. <laughs> Oh really? That's sorry for laughing Twitter, at that. I, I don't even. Sorry for laughing at the chair thing. I don't even know how to. Dude, that's that. just fucking. And it was weird. a dude. It what? was a dude. That shit was in his ass. Kai, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> and you know what kind of chairs it was? You know I those? don't even no, want to no, know no, what no. kind of chair it was. It was Little the fishes. school chairs. Little the fishes. school <laughs> chairs. It looked like one of those school chairs. Oh. No. All right. All right. Well, I guess you guys enjoyed. Thank you to our sponsors. <laughs> thank you to our sponsors thank yeah, you for thank coming you on I, that was great you, that, that was a great podcast that was an amazing that was, that podcast was yeah, thank you so much we'll see you guys soon peace out guys peace peace Bye. Bye. Yeah.